Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As always, when a manufacturer or a retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsored review. So today we're gonna be talking about home security systems. Um, you know, protecting yourself, you know, protecting your family, protecting your business um, with a video camera. Well, it's not a regular video camera, it's a, it's a surveillance camera, it's a surveillance kit. Now, um, the industry leader, um, in this particular field is Lorex. Um, basically, they specialize in um, kits for your home, for your businesses, for your warehouses, for your mansions. Um, and they basically sell um, basically the top of the line equipment, which is the 4K cameras. Now imagine this, 4K cameras as a surveillance camera. So you're looking at um, four times um, the 10, 1080p, right? So um, basically you zoom in on a person, you can tell what eye color they are. Um, the other cool part is that um, their system, the cameras, are also called um, night color vision. So you can actually see um, at night, infrared in color, which is actually really helpful, especially if you need to distinguish what kind of shirt the person had, or what kind of hat, or what kind of sweater, whatever it is. So um, today we're gonna do an unboxing. So today I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbox them. Their, their 4K Lorex MVR plus two cameras, a dome sort of looking camera and a bullet camera. So why don't we jump into the NVR, which is the bigger of the two box, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this in the camera, it's pretty big, here it is. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a proper unboxing here. Um, so this is the NVR, and this, this NVR is actually an eight camera input NVR. It, it comes with a two terabyte drive. You know what, let me just open this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And let's get it open here. And oof, my God, I can't fit this in the camera, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna put it on the floor and then I'm gonna bring it up. So you have your accessories box, your kit right here. And you have your NVR right here. And well protected, of course. Well protected. So here it is, and let me just take it out of the plastic. Very nice, very nice. So let me just go over some of the some of the features of the MVR, right? Um, now, if you want to connect 4K cameras, you have to have an NVR or a DVR that is compatible with 4K. You can't just get a 4K camera connected to a DVR that does not record um, 4K. It just doesn't work that way. Um, what you can do is you could get a 4K um, NVR and record 2K or 1080p or 720. You could do that. You could downgrade your camera and record it on there. But in order to get the 4K um, video onto your NVR, you need a, 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 an NVR that records 4K. So here, let's just go through some of the, the, the um, features in the front here. You have your, your camera buttons here, so you got your switch between cameras in the front. Plus, you can rewind, um, pause, play, you know. Um, you do have a record button here, so if you want to record something that's going on, boom, you press the button right here. And you have your menu button here, so you can control everything through here. Now, I do know that the MVR does come with a, with a remote, which I'm going to show you in a second. So, okay, so here in the front you have your um, USB, so you can plug in your mouse or your keyboard, what have you, and here's the power button. Um, up here, there's a code, um, and that code is how you would connect your um, Lorex um, uh, smart app to the, to the MVR, which I'm gonna show you how to do later. Here, really quick in the back, of course, there's a little fan here. Um, in the back, you have your power port, to connect it, and this is the main power button to connect uh, to turn on the system. Um, you have your eight cameras. Now, another cool part about this is, uh, and I can't stress this enough: this system, you, me, your cousin, your friend, your grandpa, anybody can install this. You know why? Because it's one cable to connect to the cameras. The way the system works is PoE, power over Ethernet. It basically, is one wire. It has to be a Cat5 wire, remember that part too. Um, one wire connects from here to your camera. You don't need those two wires. You, you know, the other cameras have two wires, one for power and one for video. This one has all of it in one cable. It's like a smart cable that, you know, runs through your house. So you could just, you know, buy, you know, a 300 feet cable and you could run it wherever you want and you could make your own cables. You just got to make sure it's Cat5. If you use anything less than Cat5, the, the image quality is not going to work. 
Um, over here you have where you plug in your internet. This is also um, a standalone. You could just use it as its own. You don't have to connect it to the internet, but you have the option to connect it to the internet so you can connect your um, smartphone and you could basically look at your videos. Next, we have your VGA. So you have an option to plug in. If you have an old VGA monitor that you don't want to, you know, that you're not using, you want to use it for this, you can. But the best part is it also has an HDMI port. So when you want to connect a high resolution television to this, um, if you have, you know, if you have eight cameras or what have you, you don't want to watch in a little, you know, 14 inch monitor. You want to watch in a 52 inch monitor. Why not? A computer monitor or a TV. You can plug it in right here. Um, the serial port is more like a service port, so you don't really use that. And over here in the back, you also have a USB 3. So you you know you can connect the USB 3 device to this, maybe a hard drive or something like that. Um, now, on the bottom, really quick, um, it does come with a two terabyte drive already in the system. Um, with a two terabyte drive, if you were to record, uh, basically you can record up to 16 days at a lower resolution. Again, I'm gonna try to explain that later, but this I'm just gonna go really quick through the different features here. So. It does have a drive which is already um, already connected and, and is you know is in there and you could add an additional drive which will go in here you will open it and you will put it in there um, so that's the MVR right so this this particular again 4K Ultra HD MVR um, I believe the model is NR 90 9082 9082 is this particular model so why don't I just go put this on the side here and let me just open up the accessories box. So the sex series box is pretty simple, you know, you got your um, uh, HDMI cable, you got your power cable, you know, to plug everything in, you have your extra drive cable, so you want to connect another drive to the system, it brings another cable, um, and like I said, it brings its own um, remote, which can be really useful, you know, if, you, if you're used to, you know, uh, uh, moving around with a remote, and you have your Ethernet, <coughs> your Ethernet Cat 5E cable, and you do have a mouse, they sent a mouse, so you don't have to worry about getting a mouse, and of course, some screws um, for the drive. So this is what's in the box for the NVR. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an unboxing of the two cameras that it did bring um, the system. Now, they do have um, options where you could get, you can mix and match cameras. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna get four bullet cameras, you could get four bullet cameras. If you wanna get four dome cameras, you could get four dome cameras. Or if you wanna get two of, two of each or one of each and three of the other one, you can. Or you wanna get eight cameras all together, you could get four bullets, four dome cameras. Um, in my case, I have <coughs> a bullet camera here. And this particular camera, it's called the LMB8921. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna talk to you about the different um, um, options that you have with the camera. So this particular camera is, like I said, this is a bullet camera. And this camera is mostly for installing it outdoors. Um, uh, both cameras you can install outdoors, but this one um, has a better, uh, you know, has like a little neck which you can move around and you can point in the directions you want. The dome camera sort of is fixing one um, in one section, and, you, and again, you'll see when once I do that. So we're just gonna do a quick unboxing of the camera. So here it is. Here's the bullet camera. It comes with a, obviously a, a quick start uh, instructions. Now again, I'm gonna repeat this again. Anybody could do this. Anybody could install this. You don't have to be a technician. You don't have to be an electrician. You don't have to be anything but a person that knows how to read. If you know how to read, then you'll be able to install this. It's that simple. It's got four screws. You screw it wherever you want. You run your cable through the wall, plug it into the NVR, and you're ready to go. So here's the camera. And it's, I can tell you right off the bat, it's very rugged. It feels very rugged, and it's made out of metal. Everything, or the whole, um, the whole casing is made out of metal. So here's the camera, and you know what, before I go with the camera, let me just show you really quick. It brings 100 feet of um, cable, 30, um, 30 meters of cable, of already pre-cut um, you know, pre cable for you to use. So you could use that cable, or you could make your own. Um, so let me just put this on the side here. So here's the camera. Now, a couple of quick features of the camera, which I really like. It has this little, um, uh, let me see if I could do this with the knife. It has this little, um, little hood. Oh, there it is. It has a little hood. The protrudes that uh, you know you could take it, and put it in, uh, take it out and put it in. So you know if you if you're installing this somewhere where the sun is probably hitting it right at that angle, you could actually push that forward and it will cover the lens so you don't get that weird you know uh, effects of the sun. Um, 
it does have like i said so it has night vision it has a night vision lens so this is a 4k camera this is what i was trying to tell you before now in order for you to get 4k video you have to get a 4k camera this is a 4k camera um they do sell 2k and like i said they sell 10 1080p and um, 720p cameras um but in order for you to get the highest quality of video you need a 4k camera so this is one of those 4k cameras it does have a night vision color lens in other words it'll see color at night which is right is really really cool it records uh the, the compression that it records is h265 which is like a high compression in other words you could compress a lot of video still make it look good in a small amount of space so you know that's why uh, you know you have two terabytes in the hard drive you know you want to try to you know record as much as you can without having the hard drive recording you know going back and you know back and forth so um so that's that's um that's the camera now another cool feature it's got a lens with 120 degrees angle so it, basically it's almost like a fisheye lens and it will give you more of a peripheral a peri um, perimeter view of where you point in this camera so that's like i said this is probably one of those cameras that would really um probably help better if it's outside installed outside you know you can start it inside your home but i mean you know it's kind of it's kind of sticks out you know you put this in your home people are going to think you know your, your friends are going to come visit you think what the hell is going on here why does it look like i'm in a, in a uh, police state <laughs> so um this is probably more for the outside um you know it's all weather um it in a, like i said it, had, it comes with the four screws for you to install it on the wall so that's the camera so this is the, the bullet camera and this particular camera is like i said the lnb um 8921 um model so it's not motorized it's just a regular camera they do sell this one motorized which is the next version over so now we're just going to open up the next camera which is the the dome camera now the dome camera is very similar to the bullet bullet camera the only difference the only main difference is that actually this camera has audio so it's a one-way audio you could listen to people but you can't speak to them but you can hear everything's going on now this camera is ideal again for a business you want to put it over your your register so you know what people are saying people are talking about if somebody came in and then you need to hear their voice you got robbed oh this guy sounds like this this is probably the camera you want to get um like i said instructions everything you need is in this little bag right here um again it, it brings its own wire 100 feet of um cat 5e wire and here is the camera and now this is actually lighter than the other camera obviously because it's a little smaller in size but the quality of video is the same you know why because this is a 4k camera oh let me just take this off this is a 4k camera so here it is so the way the dome works obviously um you could put it in on the wall so if you were to put it like this on the wall you can move the camera in any angle that you would like now you are limited to this you know to this space so that's a come this is probably one of those cameras that you want to install indoors not necessarily outdoors but it again it's an outdoors camera you could install it wherever you want and of course this is a 4k camera which if you want to record 4k you will need a camera like this now all these cameras are available at the lorex site i'm gonna leave the links for everything all the cameras um the mvr instructions how to install it um you know basically everything that you need to get started but what i'm gonna do is now i'm just gonna you know what i'm gonna put one of the cameras right up here and i'm gonna put one pointing towards outside and then i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and how it looks like and you know maybe i'll play with some of the features and let you guys know what i think so um why don't i go do that now so i set everything up i set up one camera over the top here and i set one pointing out my window i put the bullet camera pointing out the window and i put the dome camera indoors only um so you guys can see basically what it looks like and the quality of the image now like I said, setting this up was super easy. It took me maybe, I want to say half an hour to set them up. The only reason is because I wasn't sure where I wanted to put them. But, you know, I just put one screw on each one. Let it, you know, let it sit there. We look at the image. So, you know what? Why don't I show you what, once you plug it in, what it looks like. So, here it is. Um, you have the, the, it has this particular, like, um, NVR supports up to eight cameras. So, you see eight different um, windows plus a blank one on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure what the blank one on the bottom is. I think you could put some other info. I haven't played with that part, but I just want to show you the quality of the image. So um, on the top left, you can see the image of this camera that I just installed. And I'm going to switch that camera. It's just simple by just clicking on it. You click on it and there it is. Um, obviously there's a little delay because you know it's a, it's going through another system what have you. But what I do notice is the quality of the image is super sharp and crisp. Now, 
mind you this monitor that i have unfortunately it's not a 4k monitor so you cannot see 4k on the on the video because i don't have a 4k monitor um i didn't want to go and set everything up in the living room with my 4k tv um i just wanted to show you guys how basically how it works i mean how it, you know it works the way it's supposed to work now um now if this was a 4k monitor you will see a 4k image of course this is only a 1080p and that's what we're getting and the reason you know that is if you go into the settings which are down here on the bottom um sorry i have my i have my light in front of me and i'm trying to do this I, you guys can see now the other thing is when you first start the system up um it's going to ask you for the administrative password which is um six zero 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 and you just uh, you know you enter that once you enter that it's going to tell you to change it so i changed it to one two three four five six you know just for the purpose of this video um, and then you can enter it, you know, into the administrative uh, part. So, um, again, these images that you see on the top, these are live images from the system. Um, so, let me show you why um, the, the image on this monitor doesn't look quite as sharp as it would on a, on a, on a 4K. As you can see, this monitor only supports um, 1080p. So, that's why. Now, I usually connect most of the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing directly to my computer, but I... 1080p is a little, it'll, you know, it's a little bit of a problem because it's progressive, and the image when it comes into Final Cut Pro, it doesn't process it right. So I had to use my camera to record it. So, um, so this is, yeah. So this is the, the the menu, and you know, you have a whole bunch of different menus. I'm not gonna go through these menus. You know, you want to play with them once you get your system. You can. But what I wanted to show you was how the image looks. So. As you can see, the images look pretty good. Now, again, keep in mind that this monitor is not a 4K monitor, so you're not getting the 4K resolution that you would get if you had a 4K monitor. But this is the this is the bullet camera, and look how sharp it looks. Now, again, it's going through a window. It's going through one of those windows that has two panes on it, so it, the image is actually a little fuzzy, a little, you know, whatever. But as you can see, the wide angle has a pretty wide angle view of, um, of what you see outside. Um, again, and with the bullet camera, same thing with the oops with the same same thing with the bullet camera the bullet camera um i want to see okay so this is I, i'm figuring my arms i could probably stretch them out maybe six feet wide so this is you know this is the the the, the part that you could get in here so <laughs> actually it looks pretty cool i mean I'm very impressed. I mean, again, this is the top of the line camera, so um, you know, I I, I'm, I wasn't expecting anything less. Um, and of course, you have you do have your your remote. So what we're gonna do now? I'm just gonna do a quick replay of what just happened here. So why don't we go into the menu and go into the play menu here, the playback menu, and I'm gonna show you what we just. Uh, did right now um, basically um, what what I've been uh, since I connected the camera what I've been playing with so as you can see here it is so this was at 831 and as you can see there I am playing you know trying to set everything up you know trying to clean up a little bit there's my my light in the way and the, the DVR is actually I don't know if you guys could notice but the DVR is right on the top uh, sort of left top corner of the video that's where I have it right over the camera um, so I could, you know, so I could, you know, I didn't want to run wires all over the house. So, and that's my camera that I use to record. So, I mean, basically, I mean, the, the, the image is great. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is, I want to show you the, the app and how the app works. So, I downloaded the app. The name of the app is called Fleer Secure. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is, Fleer Secure. And basically, you sign up. And when you sign up, it's going to ask you um, for your code. The code, like I mentioned before, is on your DVR. It's a, it's a um, QR code that you will scan, and the, D, um, the, the, the code is only, you know, coded to that machine. So when you get it, then you get the, the, you know, you get the fee from your DVR, or I should say MVR, to your phone. So here is some live video. So here's this video that we're looking at now. Oh, I'm sorry. I should show you from the beginning. So... <laughs> So these are the cameras. See the, the two cameras that I just installed. There's the outside camera and the inside camera. Now it has a live view and it has a static view. The static view is this. It just shows you like a little thumbnail of what the camera looks like. Um, but if you want to go into live view, you will press live view right up here. 
and it takes you to the the two live cameras now i am connected to my local network right now so the connection is fairly simple for, i mean i'm sorry fairly quick but i'm gonna switch to my um uh lte network now and i'll show you guys you know basically how that works basically meaning that i'm not connected to my local network and you see how well the cameras work so right now i'm connected to my my uh lte network and here it is here's the video so the video looks really really sharp look at that and i could switch between the two videos i could switch with between the outside video and the inside video and there is that's the low resolution video but once i switch it to enhance right here on the bottom it gives you an enhanced view of the video so basically one is so you don't waste too much uh, bandwidth for wherever you're looking at the stuff from so there, here it is so this is actually live outside right now my window and um it looks great what else can i say the system works the way it's supposed to work the remote is super convenient to use you know if you don't have a you know you don't want to work with a mouse you could actually use the remote it's not very hard you know not very hard to use like i said it does bring you a mouse for you to work with um and you have choices of camera so you have um you know your 4k to 72p um, i'm sorry 70 uh 720p cameras now um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but this particular MVR actually supports all kinds of cameras that are IP cameras. So if, let's say you already have some cameras you bought that are not Lorex cameras, but they are IP cameras and they're P POE, power over ethernet, you could actually plug it into this um, MVR. They are compatible. As long as they uh, use the technology, the, 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 the POE technology, you should be able to connect any camera basically from any manufacturer into this MVR. So in conclusion, the camera works the way it's supposed to work. I mean, as you can see, um, you know, I'm a little delay over there, but you get the idea. It works the way it's supposed to work. The app is super convenient, very easy to use. Um, everything, you know, you can see everything that's going on in your house. You go to actually have um, motion sensing. So if you know, if you, if you want to put a particular area in your backyard or in your business that you don't want people passing by there, they'll send you a motion sensor. Say somebody just walked past here. You could go in there and you could actually, um, you could actually do it from in here too. So if you want to see what just happened um, 30 seconds ago, you press this is little like sort of time time button here. You press that little time button play um, the video that I just recorded right now on my phone you know like I could go in and look at it and you could either look at 30 seconds or you could look at the whole you know day um, they also give you something called a rapid recap um, basically they show you the whole day in an entire minute now I'm not sure if I set that up on my particular um, system but I'm gonna try to see if it shows me the last two hours so no it doesn't it doesn't show me you know why because I didn't set any motion events if you set up motion events of things um, that happen in this area uh, you could do a, a you know a recap or whatever happened and it gives you the whole recap in a minute like let's say 24 hours it'll show it to you in a minute so you could just see everything really quick and you could obviously pause and look at it and see what's going on so I didn't um, set one up but let me try to set one up right now see what happens because you actually you could actually in the app you could actually create one so let's see what happens so for the rapid right recap you have to set that up before you try to do it on your phone so Lorex gives you three rapid recaps per month I believe free as part of your plan um like i said they give you two um two days of cloud storage um basically after two days it just keeps recording over and over again now they do have plans where they give you you know 30 days of recording which is um it's not a bad idea if you own a business because if somebody comes to your business and they steal you your nvr that's where your stuff is recorded so the, that's the only place it's recorded at this point so the idea then to do is to have a backup you know have a backup on their server so i want to leave the link in the description for all this stuff i want to thank lorex for giving me the opportunity to review their their product this is an amazing product if you're a business owner well especially here in new york if you're a business owner in new york you're going to be required to use 4k cameras in your business um as part of the poli police department i'm sure the police department if you have a business in new york especially uh, like a supermarket or a store i'm sure the police have come to your to your store already and told you that by the end of this year you're required to upgrade all your cameras um to hd cameras because they want to have high quality videos when they want to look for someone terrorists thieves whatever it is so you business owners you're going to have to do this so might as well get a lorex this is the top of the line camera um their customer service is great. I mean, I had a little problem trying to set up the, the MVR and they responded to me like within 30 seconds. I went on there to the chat live, bam, bam, bam. They told me how to, you know, fix the problem, which was a, 
Turns out it wasn't a big problem, it was just something really simple. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for all these cameras, both cameras and the MVR. You could get them on Amazon, but you could also get them on Lorex. And if you get them on Lorex, you could get about 15% off the retail price. And I'm gonna leave the, the code in the description. Guys, before I forget, if you're like me, you like to shop online, and you're gonna spend $300, $400 anyways, you're gonna spend that money anyways, why don't you use Ebates? Ebates gives you money back on everything that you purchase online as long as the store is uh, it's a part of the plan. But they have hundreds, thousands of stores that are participating now. Now, I'm going to leave the link in the description for that. If you sign up, you get $10 and I get $5. So, it's a win-win situation. Um, I believe if you buy buy the camera at Lorex, they give you 4% 4, 4 back. So, if you spend $1,000 on these cameras, you're going to get $40 back. $40, $40, free money back. Might as well get it back, okay? So, guys, thanks for watching. You've been watching LG TV. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you next time. Peace!